twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are where you are how i can get you someone give me a star all the stars keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today hey so my name is kyla denanyo and welcome to kyla's reading day today we are talking about the book the giver of stars the book was written by jojo moyes the genre of the book is fiction the theme of the book is literature so this book was so great <laughs> i mean i don't make it a habit to read books that are not great right but i do like to share reviews with you whether i absolutely love the book or i could have you know given or taken it this one was really special to me because this book was a love story that was really slow in the making and then it was all about books and libraries which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I even got this book from the library. <laughs> I love libraries right? I definitely enjoy buying books. I've definitely spent a lot of money on books but it's really cool to just get them from the library right? And so this book was all about being the giver of stars and that is um you're giving away stars when you're giving away library books. When you're traveling in the mountains, you're handing out books to people, you're teaching them how to read, you're sparking that imagination, that sponge-like brain in a child. You're teaching a mom new recipes, you're doing all this stuff, right? And so this was set way, 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 <laughs> way back in the day. And people were terrified of libraries. They were terrified of learning something new. They were terrified of the unknown. And so, these young ladies were incredibly brave and so one of the quotes in the book that means so much to me is when someone is talking about marjorie and they say you know her daddy's name travels before her so that quote is in reference to marjorie who is one of the first women who is working on the writing library the writing horses going around from town to town to distribute the books and Marjorie has this bad rap. She comes from a messy family. They got all kinds of drama and stuff going on, alcoholics, all the stuff. And so people don't really rock with her. They don't really associate with her. And what happens is someone is trying to explain who Marjorie is and they're like, oh, you know her, her daddy's name goes before her because her family is renowned, okay? In good ways, but mostly bad ways. But the quote meant a lot to me because I lost my father in 2021 and so my dad's name traveling before me, it gives me chills, right? It's like, yeah, people do not only know me, they know my father and so they've heard about me because of my father or they know my family because of my last name and so now, you know what I mean? And so. I remember when I got married in 2019 and I definitely knew that I wanted to change my name to my married last name, which is Denanyo. However, <laughs> it was not lost on me that I was the only girl of my dad's and that I was going to have to change from my family name to my new married name. And what a big deal that was, right? There's a lot of people who don't change their name when they get married. There's people who do for whatever reason you want, whether you want to change your name, you don't want to change your name, you hyphenate, doesn't matter. But most people put some thought into it, whether you decide to do it or not do it. And I decided to take my new husband's name, but it was not lost on me that I would no longer be using the family name that I came from, right? My father's name. And so the quote that your daddy's name travels before you, it just really, really, really hit me here in the heart <laughs> because it's an absolute honor to have my daddy's name travel in front of me, travel ahead of me, right? And I mean, I still look just like him and I have all this stuff to remember him, but that part really, really, really jumped out at me. I get some comments on here and you guys are like, you find the most minute little thing and it meant something, but I imagine that the author of the books is writing and every line means something to them. And that might not be true. And if it's not, don't tell me. <laughs> Do not tell me, but whether she heard their daddy's name travel before them, whether it's just something common that people used to say back then, no matter how Jojo Moyes found that sentence to put it in the book, even if she didn't think it would make an impact, I'm glad to know that it did make an impact and that it meant a lot to me, so, okay? So, would I reread The Giver of Stars? Yes. <laughs> very long book, very interesting book, very detailed book. I've read it twice. I'm always amazed by what I learned about Alice. 
And yeah, and I think it's absolutely fascinating. I remember reading Me Before You and then You After Me and then I bought the third one, but I've never read it. So I have to do a review on that. But <laughs> Jojo Moyes is a great writer. It's not a departure of what she's written before because her other books are really good as well. But this one is a historical literature book, which is very different from the contemporary writing that she did in Me Before You. So let me know, have you read anything by the author Jojo Moyes? Have you read The Giver of Stars? It's a great read and it's available in audiobook as well. So let me know if you've read it. Let me know if you are planning to read it and I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Talk to you later.